Assalamualaikum and have a good day everyone. In this video, we will learn chapter 1.5, subtopic 1.1, Organization of Plant Tissues. Plant tissues are divided into two types, meristematic tissue and permanent tissue. Meristematic tissue are divided into apical meristematic tissue and lateral meristematic tissue. Permanent tissues are divided into epidermal tissue, ground tissue and vascular tissue. Ground tissue are divided into parenchyma tissues, collenchyma tissue and sclerenchyma tissue. There are two types of vascular tissue which are xylem tissues and phloem tissue. Now, let's discuss more about permanent tissue. Permanent tissues are measured tissues which are experienced or experiencing differentiation. There are three types of permanent tissue. Epidermal tissue, ground tissue and vascular tissues. So this is the picture of position permanent tissue. Epidermal tissue okay, is the layer of the outermost surface of stem, leaf and root of the young plants. Epidermal cell wall which are exposed to the air have a wet sea and waterproof layer called cuticle. The cuticle reduces water loss through the evaporation and protect the leaf from mechanical injury and pathogen. They are modified epidermal tissue according to their function which are gut cell in control the opening of stomata and root hair cell increase the surface area of the root for water and mineral salt absorption. So this is the modified epidermal cell according to their function. Epidermal cell epidermal tissue uh, modified into gut cell and epidermal cell also modified into root hair cell. The gut cell are bean shaped structure to control the opening and closing of stomata and the root hair cell are elongated structure to increase the surface area for water absorption and mineral mineral salt absorption. Let's discuss about ground tissue. Ground tissue are divided into three types, parenchyma tissue, collenchyma tissues, and sclerenchyma tissue. Parenchyma tissue is the simplest living cell and do not undergo differentiation. Uh, it has the thinner cell wall and is always to get stick to provide support and maintain the shape of habitus plant. The function of the permanent tissues are involved in photosynthesis, help in the storage of starch and sugar involved in the repair and regeneration of plant tissue as well as in the vascular system. Collenchyma tissue made out of living cell which mature into cell that are flexible. It has cell wall that made out of pectin and hemicellulose. The cell, the cell wall are thicker than the parenchyma tissue and the function of the collenchyma tissue is provide mechanical support and elasticity to plant. And the last one is sclerenchyma tissue, consists of dead cell. When they are matured, the, the, cell walls, the cell wall of sclerenchyma tissue are the thickest among the, these three ground tissue. Function of the sclerenchyma tissue is provide support and mechanical strength to the parts of the matured plant. And also, it will help transport water and nutrients in the plant. So, this is the Location of ground tissue in the cross section of the unicot stem. So the, the location of collenchyma tissue is just be, just below the epidermal. And the, the, the parenchyma tissue is the uh, this, uh, the parenchyma tissue is the ground tissue that surround the vascular bundle, and then the sclerenchyma tissue is the uh, fibrous seed around the vascular bundle. 
So, vascular tissue, uh, there are two types of vascular tissue, which are xylem tissue and phloem tissue. The location of xylem tissue inside the leaf. Okay, the xylem is up, upper part and the phloem is below part. Xylem. Xylem is made up of dead cell without the cytoplasm. The cell wall of xylem contains lignin. Lignin means wood. Consists of xylem vessels that are elongated, hollow and connected to each other from its root to the leaf. The function of xylem to transport water and mineral salt to all parts of the plant. And the flowing tissue made out of companion cell and sieve tube. They are, they are made out of living cell, which is the sieve tube with the presence of cytoplasm. The sieve tube do not have any organelles, such as nucleus and ribosome, as they decompose at maturity state. Consists of sieve tube arranged from end to end, forming elongated and continuous tube structure. The function of flow worm is transport sugar, produced from the photosynthesis from the leaf to the storage organ such as root, fruit and tuber. That's all for today. Thank you.